Hello guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video. In previous videos I showed you the Legend Grossman and the Seventh Flow algorithms, so you have background on what's gonna happen in today's video. If not, go check them out. I will leave the links in the description below. As you know, nowadays one of the most utilized algorithms in the mining industry is the Seventh Flow algorithm, according to the traditional methodology to determine the ultimate bit limit in the mining sequence. This algorithm was implemented recently in commercial softwares like Riddle and Deskwit. Now I'm gonna show you an application I developed in Python to solve those two problems. So as you can see we have the graphical user interface application developed with TK Inter. And here we are going to load all the block model parameters. And so we are going to open it up the block model. It's loading. And here we have a block model with up to 64,000 blocks with X, Y, and C coordinates, the type of block of the block, the density, the percentage of the block that is below the topography, the discounted profit, and finally, but not least, the slope angle. So that's pretty much it. Okay, let's close it. Now we are going to load all the block model parameters. We already have a, a, a block model parameter file. And as you can see, we've got the block limits, the minimum on X, the maximum, the block size on X, and the number of blocks in X axis. The same for the other ones. Here we have the complex slopes. Here we can write down the output file. And that's pretty much it. Now we can run the algorithm. This is going to take a while because it's a 64,000 block model. By the way, the ultimate bit limit is solved by using the solar flow algorithm and it can be solved by finding the minimum cuts in the network flow. In a nutshell, as you know, the solar flow algorithm is based on a network flow problem. If we solve the minimum cut problem, voila, we resolve the maximum closure, which is the ultimate limit. The method to achieve this is by using the labeling algorithm by foreign filters. And the pushbacks are created using the floating cone with optimization method. Or blocks which have positive net economic values are searched by benches from top to bottom, by rows and by columns. If an or block is found, an inverted column which follows the fitted slope requirements is generated above the or block. Just finished the optimization running, so we've got some results. But first of all, we are going to uh, visualize all the of the results we've got. We have here we can import the the surface. Okay, this is it. We've got the ultimate bit limit. Also we can import the blocks that are within the ultimate bit limit. And this is it. As you can see, we've got the, got the blocks that are within the ultimate bit limit. And that's it. In order to see the mining sequence, we can import the output result into mine side. Okay, let's do that. Now we are in my side. Now we can 
upgrade the model view. In the desktop model, we select the PCF file and the desktop model. We're going to display all the block model. We are going to see the sequence, the mining sequence. 3D blocks, okay. And here we have the entire block model. Now we are going to load all the blocks that are within the ultimate bit limit. By the way, I have already set it up. Okay, we've got the, the sequence. Let's see what is the range of the magnet sequence from 6 to 12. From 6 to 12. Six, twelve, increment one, and voila, we've got a better display. So, as you can see, we have some intermediate pushbacks. And here I have generated some gray shells of the block model. We have two, three, four, five, six, seven gray shells. Gray shell number six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Seven gray shells. And now we can join the join pushback eighth with with pushback 9 pushback 8 with pushback 9 so we can have one one pushback then the left pushbacks are going to account for the the last pushback as you can see here we have the pushbacks generated of course, we gotta analyze the tonnages and mining constraints as well. So this is it. <coughs> okay guys, I hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to smash that like button to subscribe to my channel. By the way, if you want more information regarding to my software I created, please hit me up. I will reply as soon as I can. Okay, peace out.